Hey everybody! Welcome back, Northern Lion. Binding of Isaac. Let's get down to business, right? No, not to defeat the Huns. Have they sent me daughters when I asked for sons, etc., etc. We had a good run last time. We were Judas. We had a staggering amount of HP at the end. Oh, that's pretty good. What kind of damage did you have? Well, thank you for asking. Epic Fetus, which we picked up on the second floor and made the whole thing a little bit of a cakewalk, didn't it? And that's fine. I'm I'm content with that. Uh, anytime I can make that happen, I feel pretty good about it. You know, people often ask me, or do, I should say, when I play Isaac, then you say, when I play Isaac, people always ask me, people always ask me, how aren't you bored of it? How aren't you bored of it? Well, I'll tell ya. Anyway, the, the next part doesn't rhyme. Because there's a constantly shifting single player meta game that allows me to improve uh, despite the fact that I've played the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours. And one of the things um, that highlights that, I think, is this like, you know, first floor, second floor meta of getting that early deal with the devil. You know, rushing that as quickly as you possibly can seems to be uh, an extremely important strategic concern to have. Most of the time, at least early on, I probably would not have, uh, in the past at least, I probably would not have. Uh, used a bomb, especially when I only had two, just to pick up a single spirit heart that early, right? But, it's important to do so on this XL floor to get something to protect your red hearts, because this is, this is the big show, you know, this is us trying to figure out uh, if we can get a deal with the devil, and the only way to do that, and thank God I did, uh, is to give yourself a spirit heart right now, so, even if we, oh, come on, ooh, that's actually really amazing, P potentially at least, uh, I guess this is definitely worth re-rolling, Maybe a super early guppy if we get very, very lucky. Uh, the attack fly is pretty good. It's actually an item that I... Oh, come on. With that nonsense. Um, it's an item that I that I enjoy quite a, a big deal, but uh, we might end up re-rolling it in case we don't get any keys to actually access like anything else. Now, there's kind of a, a mad uh, little assortment of things that happened right there. We got a free deal with the devil item, the possibility to get attack fly, but we still have no keys. Small rock is a great pickup as well. I'm very excited to have uh, been allowed to pick that up, but we may end up re-rolling attack fly. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It's going to depend on if we find our boss room right away, which obviously at this point we have. Uh, if we get a key, we're definitely going to be going to our shop right off the bat. That's crazy to find a dime in a chest like that and drink them both up. Um, let's move downwards. See what we got. It's going to be gray version of Monstro. My tears match the color of his face. I'm hoping that doesn't mean that this is like a, you know, bullet hell game and he managed to absorb them and maybe even improve his power as a result. That was a, a bit of a, you know, half-baked joke there. Not the movie half-baked. The, the premise of something being half-baked. Which, I don't really get it. I don't think I've ever had anything that's half-baked. But I guess if you had like a half-baked cake, it would just be like a bunch of... You know, soft boiled egg yolks in the middle, right? That probably wouldn't be very good. Happy birthday, Janie. You got salmonella. Welcome to your ninth year on planet Earth. Shit sucks. I'll probably pick up the coat hanger just because I like the coat hanger and I'd rather save a reroll for whatever might come next. Tears upgrade in the form of the coat hanger, especially combined with that early damage upgrade, gives us a pretty solid DPS advantage over what we would normally have at this point in the game. Puts us in a pretty uh, excellent position. We do get a deal with the devil. We'll snag HP right off the bat. Come on, guppy items. Let's get a, an early guppy. Shit, dude, we did it. Read it. Um, all right, how do we do this? Maybe it doesn't matter which one we pick up first. We'll have one HP regardless. I think it doesn't matter which way we do this. Oh, if we do it nine lives first, then we die to pick up uh, Guppy's Paw, which I think is just not necessary. Uh, is there any way we can milk some extra spirit hearts out of this, though? I mean, we could, but is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. I think we have, like, exactly the right amount to get, yeah, do that appropriately. And then we reroll that into a free version of the mark. So this is a pretty crazy good first floor. Uh, we've already become Guppy. We also got Small Rock and the mark. So we became Guppy, got two damage upgrades, and... Oh, man. Well... We might get super lucky and be able to get a payout there, but I doubt it. Uh, and all of this, hilariously, at least to me, without even being able to access our item room or our shop, the or either of our item rooms or our shop, the two traditionally most important rooms that you would find on any floor, but on this floor, um, they haven't been necessary, apparently. Which is kind of crazy. Hey, we got a key. Holy crap. We're going to use that to go to our uh, shop right up there. We got a second key. Finally. 
We're able to do something with these. This could be go down as like the best floor that I've ever had in my entire time in uh, the Binding of Isaac. And you know what? I'm not going to get too uh, too cocky with things here. I'm just going to take Mom's purse at half price. We could re-roll it. Maybe it would re-roll into something amazing. Like all the, the next thing this floor needs, like if you want to make it even better, what do we get? Like a nun's habit or something like that at half price? Um, but I'm content with our current situation. We're also going to end up getting a free... Probably attack fly, but we'll see if maybe we re-roll this. And the one item room we're able to access contains tarot cards, so we're going to re-roll those. But we get a temperance out of it, um, which actually could be useful on this very floor. And we got quad shot as well. Holy crap. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, write it down. Happy Sunday. I can't really tell. It might, it might be Tuesday today. Can't really remember what day you're watching this on, but... Um, yeah, I, ho I hope you're enjoying the run because this is uh, maybe the most powerful run I've ever had as of the first floor. We can still lose pretty easily, but I certainly hope that we don't because that would be a disappointment. Um, so let's just see what else is available in our shop. There is a red heart, so I'm thinking the way that we do this is we come down to this fine young gentleman right here, pop this down. That allows us to play both of these guys for, you know, the price of one. Let's see what the pill is. Bombs are key. Oh, that's sweet. That allows us to go to the other item room. But we'll also, uh, very quickly, pick up this red heart. Because for three cents, I think that's worth one more play. I can't believe this floor isn't done yet. This is absurd. And um, we'll do that and that. And, well, we got a little bit more money. We can't really do too much with that, but that's okay. There's some more red hearts down here. If we could get, like, a crazy payout from this demon judgment, I would be the happiest boy in the whole world right now we're probably gonna have like two or three more plays of this uh song and dance here if we got that hp upgrade that would be so good it would allow us to play demon judgment a lot more and i want to make sure we're hitting demon judgment first i guess because he's a little bit more important in this context and if you interact your life is on contact contract yet your best bet is to stay awake motherfucker i'll, I'll take a venti pike please um thank you we're gonna go, and this is, you know, this is the end, my only friend, the end. We've got three keys, so we're gonna be opening up that item room up there at the very top, hoping that it gives us something that allows us to continue this kind of loot treadmill that we got going on here. And we get a free ghost baby, which is a mild success. Let's be honest, that's not gonna, you know, be anything to write home about. It doesn't make us substantially stronger, but it's not like we need to be substantially stronger after what has... Again, I'm, you know, not to blow it out of proportion, I do genuinely think this is the strongest we've ever been after the first floor, though. And a free quarter is just enough to make, like, the next two shops worthwhile, maybe the next three, which is probably all of the shops remaining in the game that actually have, you know, non-greed in them. So let's head down to the next floor, and I'm very excited to see uh, how easily we're going to be able to take out the units that we come across there. Mark, guppy items, we're a little bit low on HP, but that's okay. Nine lives to back it up, a bunch of spirit hearts, mom's, uh, mom's uh, purse, which we haven't even had a chance to use yet, and this is the perfect test for us because we're on Catacombs XL. It's not the caves, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult, um, but that's good because it gives us a chance to test and see if we're actually um, as strong as I think we are. Alright, let's not even talk about what I what I want to have on this run right now, because that would be doing a disservice to the run we already have. Finding greed in the shop is a disappointment, but not really that problematic for us in the, in the whole scheme of things. Let's just move it around here. We have one key left with which to access an item room. This should be a pretty big floor if I had to guess, but I also feel like we've got a very, very good chance of getting a deal with the devil. And again, that's the uh, that's half the balance with these guppy runs. Look at this money. This is absurd. Um, that that's half of the 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 problem. Half of the fun with these guppy runs. Half of the everything is after you get nine lives. How many deals with the devil do you steal before you start saying, okay, enough is enough, I need to have some HP to actually be able to win this run? And uh, that's kind of, or you're not really stealing deals with the devil as Guppy, you're you're really just, uh, you know, trading lives for them, full lives. But um, at some point you do need to have HP if you're going to beat the game, no matter how strong you are. No, uh, you know, no damage is an island, you still need to be able to take at least a couple of hits, it's like that Xbox One commercial, right? It ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you could get hit. And keep coming! Anyway. People are gonna think this video is sponsored by Xbox One. Yeah, totally. My Binding of Isaac series, sponsored by Microsoft's Xbox. Makes perfect sense, right? A marketing match made in heaven. Some guy getting paid, you know, two million dollars a year to set up promotions like this. 
All right, so we're not going to reroll the pony yet, even though we totally can, uh, because we might prefer to reroll a deal with the devil that comes after it or something like that. But so, oh, that's uh, I took some damage, but it's not red hard damage, so it doesn't matter, as far as I know, at least. That was very quick. We have a lot of rerolls uh, awaiting us here, so I don't think we want to take brimstone, but we'll reroll both of these. Oh, we don't want to take either of those. That's fine. So we'll probably end up. This is a bit disappointing, the way that worked out there. Uh, but it's an XL floor, so we have plenty of opportunities to get uh, to get a lot of rerolls back. Yeah, it took the wind out of my sails a little bit, but that's okay. So I think we're pretty much just saying uh, that uh, that this life is going to be the life that we're going to use. Thank God for that extra key there. And what I, what I mean by that is that, you know, one life has got to be your marquee life in Isaac when you have nine lives. Jesus, we're going to be re-rolling a lot. Uh, and I think right now this is our marquee life. And what I mean by that is this is the one that we're going to try our best not to lose. And we're going to be salty if we lose it because every run that comes after it is going to be weaker. If we die, though, it's it's not the end of the world yet. It's not apocalyptic. At least we have a, a re-rollable room pretty close to us here. Probably this and the pony are about um, equal as far as like me wanting to re-roll them, but this is good. Uh, we got uh, the less than three, which means fighting Gluttony is going to be kind of shitty later because we're not going to have a chance to get it, but can't really complain because we already got the, the best payout from it and we didn't even have to fight him, so what am I uh, belly aching about here, right? Now, I'm not going to re-roll that Yamhar just yet, because I do think that there's a possibility that there could be... Oh, that's nice. Uh, but I do think there's a possibility that there could be a... Uh, blood bank here, but I guess maybe we'll just do it because it's closer and this saves us a lot of time. I think 10 bombs is a totally acceptable pickup, considering we had zero. And this floor's not shaping up to be incredible right now. But uh, that's not really that big of a deal, because it doesn't have to be incredible. Pretty Fly is nice for the extra defense, and Bombs are key. May end up using Bombs are key. Uh, do we know? This is crazy. Another Pretty Fly, so that's basically a free Halo of Flies in this floor is great. Range down maybe means that we're more excited about picking up that range upgrade, but then we got a range upgrade to compensate for it right after, so, you know, no hard feelings, I guess. So we actually probably made out uh, better on that, because we usually... That was really close. Usually, um... As people have told me, the uh, upgrade pills are worth more than the downgrade pills cost you. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're going to definitely take a left-hand Bloody Penny here. If we end up coming across a, uh, a Blood Bank, Bloody Penny is like the best uh, trinket to have probably by far. That and the Polaroid if you're late enough in the game. Um, and I know we have a reroll ready, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to yeah, get another one anyway, so we might as well just go through with this. We have a third pretty fly, which is great. And uh, that's bombs are key. We don't know this one. Balls of steel. That's amazing. We don't need our pr other pretty fly unless we get two more um, cubes of meat or two cubes of meat in general, which is pretty unlikely. So the back half of this floor ended up being fairly useful, I would say. Picked up ten bombs. So bombs are key pill. HP upgrade. Probably not a range downgrade. Technically. Not gonna look for the secret room, even though there are some uh, you know seemingly viable locations for it here. I'd rather just move along. We're going to be rerolling the pony, hopefully getting an HP upgrade or something even better out of that, taking our range upgrade, and heading down to the next floor. All right, pony, let's do this. Pick it up, put it back down, reroll. Cat of nine tails. Straight up garbage tier. Mom's heels. Not the best floor. Not nearly as good as the floor that preceded it, but that's okay. As we head down to Necropolis 1, I still feel very strong. I feel very strongly about how strong we are. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, pretty much the same quality of, of damage right now, but that's okay. We got some extra interstitials. Having the uh, having the defense of that full suite of uh, orbitals is very, very nice. So we're going to reroll Harlequin Baby, because Harlequin Baby is not very good. It's not good enough, at least, especially when we found it so early. Uh, plenty of time to reroll. Flies are going to be my best friend here. A kiss on the hand can be quite continental, but flies are a girl's best friend. That sounds like something that could be from like a, a Tim Burton, you know, stop motion animated musical. You know what? While we're here, why don't we check out our curse room first? Just in case, you know, cross it off the list. There we go, Guppy's Tail. Which, honestly, since we're already Guppy, I think we can just reroll Guppy's Tail. Might regret it later, but maybe not. Um, sure, you know. 
technology sometimes doesn't end up being amazing. Sometimes it ends up having these weird synergies that I don't understand that make it substantially worse. But I also love technology plus um, plus flies. So I think, you know, there's a chance that I might have just completely screwed myself. Or there's a chance that we might have a very, very fun run here. But one thing's for sure, my damage should be a little decreased relative to where it was earlier. But my DPS might be a little increased. So there's plenty of bombs here. At some point, we're going to decide wh where to pop these bombs or key. Bombs are keys, keys? You know what I mean. And this also gives us pretty much infinite range. Unless we bump into a rock or something, which would, you know, block our laser. I guess that makes sense. Not that I'm worried too much about, like, immersion breaking in the Binding of Isaac. Hitbox with technology is a little weird. Takes some getting used to. We'll figure it out. Get out of there, please. Took a lot of damage on that room that I'm not proud of. So we have a range upgrade, which is now worthless, and a bombs are key pill. Two bombs are key pills, okay. Alright. Don't fuck yourself over here. It's my favorite Oasis song. Maybe we won't use this bombs are key pill for a while. Looks like we're in a pretty okay position to just keep it up. I don't know why, because like technology is so fun, and I always see these runs on the subreddit, like, check out my fat technology laser, and I'm like, oh, that is a fat technology laser, you're right. And then when I pick it up myself, oftentimes I find myself being like, why did why did I pick this up? It actually made me worse off. You know what? Spelunker's hat I think is okay here. Especially on a Curse of Darkness, it allows us to see, yeah, where the heck secret rooms are. I still sort of feel like um, Spelunker's hat should, oh, that's so good. Still sort of feel like Spelunker's hat should allow you to uh, not have to use a bomb, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. I've dealt with it for this long. Uh, and we get Sacrificial Dagger, which is actually... An I know we have a full suite of orbitals, but this is nice as an offensive orbital. Especially if we can find a way to get uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. So every time we take damage, we just run in with Sacrificial Dagger and it'll do it'll do a ton, basically. Alright, so we're still looking for a possible deal with the Devil. I guess there is a... Oh, second secret room must be like over here. Let's see what it is before I keep talking. Bunch of red hearts. There was no way that Demon Judgment wasn't going to pay out for us on this floor, I guess, is where uh, I can draw the conclusion on that one. We have not been to the shop yet, so it's uh, completely conceivable that this could be amazing for us, and it, it's pretty darn good. Maybe buy the key. I still haven't figured out how to use this Bombs or Key pill. I guess if I had taken Guppy's tail, I could have then reversed it with Bombs or Key and had enough uh, keys to open an awful lot of golden chests. But... What's done is done on that regard, basically. We don't need another pretty fly, and we will never need another pretty fly over the entire course of the game. Okay, do me a favor, bloat. Your green bloat. Um, if you could blow up those rocks in the middle so that I could actually hit you, that would be great. And we have a little bit of a, a problem here. Oh, I can fly, never mind. I was going to say I'm getting, like, trapped in the middle there. But um, we shouldn't get trapped in the middle because we can fly. Gotta watch out for stuff like that, of course. But as long as um, we get some damage in here, we're totally fine. The flies do a lot of damage. I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy with technology, even though it's seemed a little dubious so far. I think it's, it's working out nicely for us. Just kind of sucks in that bloat fight because um, there's no, like, physics on our tiers that really work for us there. So I think that's actually going to do it for this floor. We'll head down to the next floor, which hopefully for once not Curse of Darkness. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. We have a judgment right off the bat. It's actually the depths as well. This is probably going to be super, super easy. Uh, relative to the shit that we've dealt with before. So that is uh, Blue Candle. Pretty easy uh, reroll pedestal for us to get. Because we don't really want Blue Candle. I'm very content with the D6. Greed should be dead very quickly here. And um, yeah, sucks that we didn't get a Steam Sail drop, but that's okay. It, it sucks, I should clarify, because we would want to re-roll the Steam Sale and get a shop item for free, whereas we don't really have access to the shop item pool anymore after that, so... I mean, the only way we can get it is, is from a Judgment, I guess. Which is what you saw right there when Blue Candle showed up. But this won't re-roll into the shop uh, pool, this will re-roll just uh, into the Universal pool right now, I think. Yeah, so we get a pill, and the pill is pretty fly. Which, you know, how can I be salty about the fact that we've gotten so many good pills so far? As long as it's not like an HP downgrade, I don't give a shit. This is fine. So, we're gonna come over here to our blood bank. And uh, we should have, considering we have Bloody Penny, we should have a lot of opportunities to get a good payout here. Luck down is fine. 
That's pretty fly again, and another bombs are key pill. We only have like four pills in our rotation, apparently. But that's okay, because they've been pretty good pills so far. Keep in mind, we have Bloody Penny here, so I would expect to uh, get some payout. Doesn't have to be uh, right away. But we have no reason to not want it to be right away, because we already have a staggering amount of money. We'll, we'll definitely cap out at 99 uh, sooner rather than later. And we can play this not all day, but, you know, considering that both money and red hearts give us red hearts... Um, it, it should be very easy for us to just get a payout of some sort here. Yeah, there we go. So it's IV bag. That sucks. IV bag actually can be abused sort of to get back to full health if you get really lucky. You need to get like two payouts on those. But anyway, th this is fine because IV bag is a... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll pick that up. IV bag is a, a reroll pedestal that's very convenient for us. And it's located conveniently on one side of the map that we uh, probably want to be done with soon. More spirit hearts are great. At this point, I think we're pretty much committed. Thank you. Uh, we're pretty much committed to this life. We've skipped two deal with the devil rooms, mostly because they had shit items, but hey, that's how circumstance works out sometimes. And this is a pretty small floor as well. Uh, Monster Manuel, it's terrible. We'll pick it up before we re-roll it again, but yeah, it's a, it's a garbage item. And what do we re-roll? Do we re-roll that or do we re-roll uh, mom's uh, bottle of pills? I think, you know... Both of them are pretty not great, uh, probably like pretty equally not great, if we're being honest. And there's our second secret room with 19 bombs. I really like the idea that we could, uh, if we run out of keys but we get a lot of golden chests on like the womb, then we can totally just use bombs or key and work that out. Okay, so we're not playing any more blood banks, that's a free HP upgrade, everybody's happy I think. I'm oftentimes wrong about that, but that's okay. Let's move down here. Probably really banking on this item room being not bad because if, if it is bad we're gonna be leaving something on this floor simply because we can't uh, can't get enough rerolls we didn't ever get a, a the ability to uh, get more rerolls little chat is pretty terrible as terrible I would say as the uh, as monster Manuel so because it's closer that means it's a better reroll in my eyes Plenty of spirit hearts here, so I think, you know, this floor has made a really good case. It was almost like it was a tryout for who's gonna still be on the trinket team once the Polaroid shows up. And I gotta say, you know, Bloody Penny, you did your part. You did, uh, what was advertised on the tin, didn't you? You gave us a lot of red hearts, uh, from individual pennies and ended up being able to get us a payout. However, Left Hand has given us, like, seven spirit hearts on this floor, which is super valuable, uh, at this point. So, I don't know, uh... I oftentimes look down on left hand, but I think left hand has worked out pretty nicely for us here. It just sucks when we go to the chest, so we gotta keep that in mind as well. So Peeper's Eye is, it's bad, but it's better than, um, yeah, it's bad, but it's better than uh, Monster Manuel. So even though it only gives us that familiar that kind of flies around the room and does damage, that's probably fine. Poop is really bad. It's, it's a bad item. So we're gonna end up picking up uh, Peeper's Eye for sure. Yeah, we should go back and pick it up because we're not getting another reroll anyway. And it uh, looks like that means Monster Manuel is just going to be abandoned. And that's fine. Alright, so it's 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 stupid. But whatever. Yeah, we don't really have much choice in the matter, so we'll pick up Peeper's Eye. Does it make our laser a different color? No. Really want to get, like, Polyphemus or something. Not just because I'm selfishly that would make it amazing damage-wise for me, but also because it would be sweet to... Uh, you know, I have a huge laser that covers like half the screen, but whatever. We're very, or I'm very content with where we are at this moment in time. Thought I had something important to say about this run, but uh, I don't think I do actually. So as usual, nothing important coming out of these lips, except your mother's name into her own ear. Anyway, weird. Uh, there's plenty more HP for us. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Bloody Penny. I know I talked up the left hand. Why am I going with Bloody Penny then? It's possible because we have uh, Mom's purse. If we don't get another trinket, there's no, like, drop button, right? So I'm going to be stuck with left hand. And if we take left hand down to the chest, it's going to make the chest a lot worse for us. Uh, you know what? Flat Penny might actually be better than Bloody Penny in this situation. So we'll take that. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah, actually, this is sweet. All righty. Give me these keys. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Basically, left hand, if you go down all the way to the uh, chest. It makes it so golden chests don't spawn, and in their stead, you get red chests, which are statistically less likely to pay out with good stuff, obviously. So, uh, instead of risking that, I figured, why don't we just take the uh, 
the way that gives us red hearts, even though we won't necessarily need them. And then we picked up Flat Penny, which gives us keys, which I'm way more excited about because we can now open a lot of golden chests that show up. 8-Ball is re-rollable, but what do we have here? Well, Lump of Coal. I have no idea how that works with technology, but we'll pick it up regardless because I kind of dig it. And uh, Krampus pretty much died immediately. The Moon Card. I mean, Moon Card could be okay, but Bombs are Key, I think, is better for like future-proofing us. And then we re-roll the 8-Ball into the crate, which is totally fine. Could give us two keys. It did. And uh, two of diamonds, which is totally unnecessary. And a luck down pill, which we'll take. But yeah, two of diamonds is worthless. We can't take two Polaroids, so it'll be down to Utero 2. Now there is an arcade, there is a curse room, there is a mob trap room. We will be visiting uh, approximately none of those. And just keeping it very simple as we make our way into um, what I hope is a super easy mom's heart fight. Balls of steel. Yeah, we're we're starting to get a little bit too powerful to, for the game to have any chance. And you know, some people would argue that when we became Guppy on the first floor, we had already reached that that marker. But uh, in particular, now it, it just seems like no, there's not much that these bosses can do, or these enemies can do, I should say, that that can really do anything to me. But I still would love to pick up uh, more damage upgrades. Sure, let's open these up. Uh, I would love to pick up more damage upgrades just to make technology better. Anytime you get a good technology run, it feels good. But I still do sort of feel like our run might have been stronger if we didn't pick up technology, but who cares, basically. Alrighty. What do you got for me? Big laser. Kind of annoying. And uh, now the crowd control army can kind of start up here. Generating a fuck ton of flies. The crowd control is a non-issue. Prominent, yeah, I was going to say, probably permanently uh, throwing bombs already. Uh, and that's gonna do it. You know, Book of Bilal would be an okay pickup as well. If we're not gonna get more damage upgrades, I'll, I'll even compromise and say Book of Bilal would be fun. It would force us to get rid of the D6, but our D6 is uh, one of the few shortcomings with this run right now. It's a great item, but we didn't get anything that made it better, so I'm a little bit sad about that. But in the whole scheme of things, it's hard to complain about a run that's as solid as this one was. Is. It's still going. Apparently. We don't have... I mean, what's amazing about this run is that we have so many spirit hearts despite never getting a way to generate our own spirit hearts. Like, that's kind of incredible. Um, just left hand paid out so nicely for us and just gave us enough consumables that we could coast for, like, the rest of the game. And we got a couple more keys here. We're probably at the point where it's overkill. We probably don't need this many keys to... Uh, or hey, let me put it this way. We probably won't encounter this many golden chests over the remainder of the game. We got a golden key there, which makes it even easier. All right. This is going to be uh, a little bit of a test here, because we do have a full suite of orbitals, so dodging shouldn't be that difficult, but at the same time, we're going to be shooting Isaac like crazy. So this, if things are going to go wrong on this run, this is where they're going to go wrong. And you can see that I've, uh, my spirit hearts are no longer off the screen. That gives me pause for a minute. We could just fight this entirely using bombs, but that means we can't fight it entirely using bombs on the next floor. So if this turns out to be a viable strategy, we'd probably rather just do it the, the old-fashioned way here. I have taken some bad damage over this fight as well. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit that. So we're actually in a little bit of a more dangerous spot than I imagined, but this is okay. Because we're on the final floor already, and maybe we can actually make rerolls work out for us. Mr. Mega is beautiful. Um, I think we have to reroll them. Even though Mom's bra could be very useful, uh, I think we have to reroll all of these. Because we have so much time left that we can get more rerolls, get more passive items, and still get a half-decent active item, you know? Uh, oh, there we go. So it was well worth it. We got Polyphemus and Max's head and the D20. We probably won't end up using the D20. But as far as damage upgrades go, that's pretty amazing. And uh, that's even better than I would have possibly hoped for in, like, the best-case scenario. So I would expect that at this point our flies are actually just doing incredible amounts of damage. And uh, this is this is looking quite nice. Bombs are key is worthless. We could just get a better tarot card. The sun, yeah, that'll that'll freaking do it, won't it? That's a uh, that's a pretty good one. And by pretty good, I mean like almost certainly the best uh, tarot card in the game. All right, so we'll just keep this up here. Very good stuff. We have rerolls. I should go back and use that because we're we're not gonna do shit with the D twenty. What a lucky chest. Well, I mean, what a lucky run in general. But man. Polyphemus and Max's head on the final, uh, well, not on the final chest, but on the the final level is just ridiculous. And, okay, the Mom's Knife as well, are we gonna do that? I don't think so. That would give us probably more damage than we've had in a long time, but 
Uh, I, I'm liking this technology run. I don't want to forsake that, you know, what's done so well for us. Just because Mom's knife shows up. I think that might be a Balls of Steel pill, so we'll probably go back and take it, but... The other thing with Mom's knife is that it, it makes us shoot a lot less at that, like, late-game boss fight, so... We would probably uh, find ourselves in a much... Oh, it's a ranged downgrade, actually. We'd find ourselves in a much better position for, like, not t tanking damage, but, uh... It's not really necessary at all, I would say. And we can go back and reroll it after this room. If we so choose. And, you know, you always get a little bit of a sense of power out of rerolling Mom's Knife. Like, no, you know what? I don't need you. You had your chance, Mom's Knife. If you had showed up on, like, the first floor, totally would have taken you. Now you want to show up, you want to be a bit of a glory hound here at the very end of the game? I don't think so. We'll roll with Anarchist Cookbook instead. You'll be sorry. Now. We, uh, we've got the work to do. Let's head down and, uh, right, right, up, up. Thanks for the extra key. Found our second secret room, which, you know, I guess there's no reason not to go to it. Ever since I've, I've you know, it, it took me long enough, let's put it that way, but, uh, starting to use... Balls of steel? Balls of steel. Starting to use bombs more, uh, quickly, more proactively on that su double super lust fight is so, so helpful. So many red hearts and spirit hearts wasted just being a total idiot when we could have just put a bomb down and, and saved ourselves the vast majority of, uh, of stress. I don't really care who we kill last year, but it probably makes sense to kill Wrath last just in case there's a small chance that we can pick up, you know, well, more bombs, sure, but also, uh, potentially, uh, a bomb synergy, I guess. Not really that big of a deal. Sun card pretty much guarantees this if it wasn't already guaranteed. And our final item, the shears? Well, we could take that in with us, but I'd rather reroll it. And you know what, D6? You did a good job. Why don't you get the glory here and come in with us to finish the job here? Alrighty. So we can pretty much just keep the uh, right uh, arrow key pressed down here. And it's not the most damage we've ever had. We might have had uh, more impressive amounts of damage if we took Mom's knife, but I think it would be less fun. It would be less satisfying because people could look at it and say, Oh, well, you got Mom's knife, so blah, blah, blah. Like, you got Mom's knife, Polyphemus, and Max's head on the final floor. What, what can I say in my defense? That run wasn't lucky. It was. We became guppy on the first floor. Um, you know, got quad shot even on that floor as well. The mark, etc., etc. And then we got Max's head, Polyphemus as time went on. It was easy. But it was fun nonetheless, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.